Hello and welcome to this video series on Composer. Now in this video we're going to be talking about some more CSS or cascading style sheets. In the previous video on cascading style sheets we pretty much dominated that with talking about elements of type in this one or tags. In this video we're going to take it a little bit further by talking about elements of class and the small differences between the two and just how much powerful how much more powerful or flexible we can be with the class versus the type or tags. So let's go ahead and open up our software and get on to it. Now this might help kind of send the message home that the first one we were dealing with, the uh, elements of type or tags, were pretty much limited for the most part to what's available here. We've got our body text or our body tag, the P or paragraph tag, the H1, H2, and so on tag. And I haven't messed with the preformat or the address tag, but we can do a little bit more expansion there by using the generic container or the div tag. But that's going to be saved for an upcoming video series on CSS rather than kind of lumping it all into this uh, composer video series. But with the class, however, we can pretty much name this whatever we want. So we've got a lot more flexibility here than we did with the uh, type tags, the type elements. So let's go ahead and open up our tools and CSS editor and go over here to new and here. Now you see as soon as we clicked on this to deal with the elements of class it adds a dot or a period at the very beginning whereas these do not. So this one here we're going to deal with, oh what do we want to call this here, let's try um, background. No, let's call it highlighting, yeah and watch the spelling folks. Anyhow, you get the idea. Highlighting and let's create this rule. Pretty simple. We're just going to leave everything alone except for the case. No, the font style. I want to make it italic and the background I want to change to yellow. Now then, let's do another one while we're here. Go to new class and let's make this one um, something that can take care of these guys here. I know we'd have these as our H2 tags, but let's be a little more specific and call these like our, what do you want to call them, um, paragraph titles. And let's just squeeze that down to P titles. Yeah, that works. And create this one. And this one here we're going to go with predefined. Let's take it Times New Roman. Font size we'll go with uh, 18 pixels. Color. Let's go with the dark blue. And what else do we want to go here with our P titles? Let's give it a little bit of weight. And and we'll leave that as normal case. We're going to go with uppercase on all of them. And alignment, we're going to go to the left. That looks good to me. Okay. And let's go ahead and assign this guy. Oh, what I did, by the way, these were all the H2s. I took it off of H2 and put them back to body text. So that way we wouldn't, we wouldn't be screwing with the conflicting CSS styles. And then let's uh, say I want to highlight this guy here. The troubling thing is, one down here, highlighting, see? I mean, just the power of CSS. And the cool thing is, of course, the strength of CSS, the flexibility of it, is that everywhere I've got this highlighted on all my pages on the entire website or wherever I have these um, uh, styles set to on this particular page or on any particular website, uh, on all the pages, for example, as to say, for example, I had them linked to that particular CSS uh, page versus having them attached to the page like we have here. Then if I go in and I change the color from yellow to blue, then across the board it's changed. It's just awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much a quick rundown on adding class to our style. So now not only um, do I have style, I got class. So in our next video, we're going to go ahead and wrap up our CSS part of our Composer video series by tweaking our navigation bar. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you much for watching this.